so hello guys i'm back uh, with the problem number 368b and this is the part 2 of the you know, video if you have uh, like missed the part 1 so part 1 is basically that the code which throws uh, TLE time limit exceeded it and i wanted this video to push in to youtube so that you can learn about what we did wrong and how to optimize that approach so this is part 2 where we are going to learn about how to optimize that problem and uh, remove that TLE error from code forces. So what we did exactly in the previous submission is that we looped in from with the distinct elements for every query. So now uh, like the next approach would be to just uh, I create the array previously before the queries like really uh, pre like you, what you can say that um, like previously calculate all the answers of the queries that are going to come in so that you are uh, like good to push in the results whenever there is a query come in, coming in so okay so the reason suffixes so these suffixes are calculated uh, basically for uh, from the starting to the end position as far as you remember in this case so if we have a query 1 so we have to count the distinct characters from 1 to n so as you can see if we have to uh, like we have a count 2 then we have to calculate the distinct character from 2 to n so we are just like calculating the same distinct elements between till n so what is the workaround here is, is that you are gonna like I am gonna uh, count the distinct integers from the back and then I will iterate and save this result in an array so why I did that is because uh, in this approach we pre-process the array first of all so that whenever a query comes in uh, you just iterate that result array and given the solution the next is that as we are calculating the uh, distinct elements count from uh, the first position to the last position it is very good to start from the last position and count the uh, distinct elements from here not here as we will be iterating more number of times when we start from here and only one number of time when we start from here from the last I think that makes sense okay if you have uh, like um, uh, yeah I think it makes sense so let's just make a result uh, array cool and uh, let's say how we are gonna use a data structure okay yeah just make that array okay so what i am gonna do here is that i will loop and pre-process the array elements so uh, the pre-processing was the world that i was like thinking of just two minutes ago in the video that i was not clicking in so pre-process the array element so how do i pre-process this i will start from the back of the array that is n minus one and i will come to the front come sorry I will arrive to the front yeah I am not coming anywhere so j minus minus now what I am gonna do here is that distinct elements dot add a of j so I have added the last element cool and now okay so and we will set the result of j equals to distinct elements dot size so what i did here i like for the last element you add the element first and the result is one for the second last element if the uh, you add the element to the set these two elements and assign the result of j result of the last second element to distinct elements of size like two so how it goes let me just copy in the whole and explain you 
once again so first of all just clear it yeah now just copy this okay it is not going to increase okay cool so yeah so our result array is like this is stored as 1 this is stored as 2 this is as 3 this as 4 this is the count of the distinct element from the back this is 5 this is 6 and now this is also 6 and now this is also 6 now this is also 6 and now this is also 6 you see that the uh, size of the distinct elements uh, array uh, sorry set does not increase and so we are just setting the whole uh, result of size into the result array so cool now I am going to remove this code and now for every query you have to just like use the pre-processed array and just submit so I think we are done with the solution okay so 5 times 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 4 3 2 1 so that compiles very quickly and let's just submit this code cool we have to remove the package also okay now just submit and let's see whether it got accepted or not so running on test 2 running on test 2 running on test 2 so I think code forces okay accepted so no more words on code forces okay cool so thank you for watching guys thank you for watching the video and do share with your loved ones cool good night bye bye